When faced with the possibility of a violent confrontation, there are four distinct ways human beings interact with each other. The first is as a person, which is the only social interaction type of the four. Opponents recognize each other as human beings and merely attempt to change one another's behavior. The second is as a skill set, where opponents no longer see one another as people, but rather as a set of skills that needs to be overcome. The third is as an animal, where instead of seeing each other as people, opponents evaluate one another based on size and strength. The fourth is as a piece of meat, when an individual has no regard for another person's humanity. In their view, an opponent or victim is a thing to be dismantled or destroyed. Each of the four interaction types corresponds to its own set of boundaries, ranges, and comfort zones. When opponents see each other as people, interfacing is done at a relatively safe distance and allows both opponents to escape if things get too intense. Opponents who see each other as a skill set spend the majority of time interfacing from a pace away, circling to gauge the other's skill level. Opponents seeing each other as animals interface with skin-to-skin -skin brutality. When viewing an opponent as a piece of meat, interfacing is done with the deliberate intention of doing egregious, possible mortal damage beneath the skin. Each of the four types has their own set of obstacles that can hold them back in training. The socialist ultimately wishes to avoid physical conflict and will want to know how to dance around a challenge. The dualist often has some sort of martial arts training and can get sidetracked by overanalyzing the other person's abilities. Animal types are typically untrained, but comfortable with the idea of violence, because their focus is on size and strength. Smaller students often experience anxiety when faced with larger opponents, while larger students can be overconfident. Sociopaths are extremely rare and show up ready to cause serious injury. This is the last step on the violence ladder. In training, progress from one level to another isn't always linear. Socialists commonly react to training in two ways, either by sticking their heads in the sand or surprisingly skipping straight to injury level, sometimes with a short stopover at animal. Dualists often need to learn that they don't have to respect an opponent's skill in order to win. They usually proceed to animal next, but frequently get stuck there for a time as they switch their tendency to overanalyze from skill to strength. Animals are the easiest to nudge into injury-level interaction since they're pretty close conceptually. All that's left is to teach them to stop trying to match strength to strength, but instead to go strength to eyeball. If the idea of going after a trained Goliath makes you sweat, then you need to buckle down on understanding violence and study up on injury. Find out more at TimLarkin.com